Welcome to another edition of Let's Play Farming Simulator 2013 on the old family farm. Alright, so we have got our canola ready. Uh, so last time we harvested our barley here and it's been planted as corn, uh, which means we have a new planter. Let me just come over here. Uh, we got the old Hassia planter. Uh, where is it here? Uh, it's right in the corner over here. Uh, so we got the old Hassia planter right here. And that will plant corn and soy beets. Soy beets, sugar beets, sorry. And it'll plant a couple like the other standard things. But that allows to plant corn. So we went ahead and planted corn on that field because we didn't have any corn. Uh, however, we still have the corn header, so might as well use it. So let's hop into our combine and get him started. Alright, so I already had him running, ready, getting ready to go there, just warming up the engine. And uh, we set him on our way, got his lovely red overalls on today. And we're going to hop into the farm all over here and get him to drive the course. Just stop him here. So I want him to run into the combine. There we go. And where am I here? Also, there is one other change. Where is it? It's over this side. So I picked up a new mod, uh, just testing it out. Uh, it's not 100% what I'm looking for, but it's pretty darn close. Um, it's basically a bunker as you can see, with a conveyor belt already built into it. Now the stupid thing is, it's not a placeable bunker. You can actually move it. So you hook it up to a tractor and move the bunker, which I think is a little silly. However, it does allow me to drive uh, basically anything underneath it to pick it up. So it's basically like a regular bunker. So you can put uh, corn, you can put wheat, barley, silage, I think. I'm not sure about mixed rations, but maybe mixed rations as well. Uh, right now, I have manure in it. Not very much manure. Um, actually, it's quite a bit of manure. This doesn't look like very much. This thing holds a uh, thousand tons. So it holds quite a bit. So what I did is, off camera, I moved all my manure into that. Uh, so then I can just unload it as needed, basically. That also means that I might get a, I haven't picked one up yet, but I might get a uh, solid manure spreader. I haven't picked one yet. I was testing some off camera to see which one might work well with our, with the power of tractor we have, which isn't very powerful. Oh look, the corn decided to pop up. Sweet. Um, so to get, uh, the only manure spreader that really is kind of like within the 100 horsepower range is, where are we here? Sewing machines, fertilizer, here we are. This one kind of is, it says minimum requirement, 100 horsepower plus, so it's kind of close, but I'm gonna stay away from it because it does say 100 horsepower plus. This one only requires 65 horsepower, so I may pick up that one, but it is tiny. This one, I might, it doesn't say how much horsepower you need to pull it, um, but I think 90 horsepower might be enough, but I'm not sure. It doesn't say. Uh, this one definitely I could do. This one's too big. This one's too big. So this is the only option I have other than this one right here. This one's really small. Um, tested it off camera. It works. It functions properly and all that jazz, but it's really, really small. So I think it might be meant more for smaller maps, but it would do the job. And we know it works. This one we're not so sure about, so maybe in the future we'll do that. Um, also, uh, no great demands. We're still on a pig great demand, believe it or not. Um, which is ridiculous, but I would have liked for it to change to anything else, but it hasn't yet, so that's fine. So we're going to go ahead and harvest those harbor the canola over there and I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and get more cows uh, because they are making they're, the, they're making us the most money right now basically uh, because of the milk run basically so what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to also I picked up a couple other mods this mod I tried this it's a placeable building it's a huge building but it's super cool um, you actually have to open up the doors and turn the lights and stuff which is kind of cool anyways uh, did I pick up any other th anything else that's interesting no uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get a breeding facility for our cows uh, I don't know why we're in the sheep pen here likes to think we want to be here nope that's good uh, where are we here that's the pigs no over here that's how big the bunker is uh, we're gonna place it over here let's just rotate it here a little bit uh, and that should be far enough out of the way better make sure I have the pig one and not the sheep one uh, cow breeding facility yeah there we go so let's rotate it uh, that's good uh, actually let's do it over here let's do it right in the corner over here then it's completely out of the way for sure make sure the door is facing the right direction actually maybe right here yeah right there because then it'll give us a chance to there we go and I know for a fact that when you only have 50 cows, uh, that thing doesn't work very well. So I'm going to go ahead and buy another 100, another 100 cows, another 50 cows. Uh, so we should have, based on how much we have right now, we should have more than enough. And this should keep our money rolling quite well. Uh, it should give us quite a bit. So that means that we can go ahead and give our cows a bit more of everything so we still have enough uh, we still have every everything we need basis they're still rocking like uh, what is that we got three days on silage three days on mixed rations uh, four days on grass two days on water so let's go ahead and give them some mixed rations um, here I believe our mixing station is it full? No, I think it needs something. I don't know what it needs right now. Let's go check while we're waiting here. Try that to fill up. Let's get over here. What do we need? We need silage. That's not a problem. Hey, straw. Okay, yeah, it's not a problem. Alright. And I believe we can actually drop off the mixed rations right in this barn right here, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's good. Uh, doesn't take grass though. Don't understand that. It takes mixed rations, but not grass here. No idea why. There we go. Just unloading that. Still at only three days. Oh, they went to pop up to four days. This is good. Maybe go to five. No, not quite. All right. So the reason why I decided to up the amount of cows is because they do give us quite a bit of money. They've been bringing in roughly about, uh, about 10 to 25000 dollars $20, $25, a day, uh, actually per per the time the milkman comes. So we're gonna go ahead. I decided to up it just so we had we made some more money constantly. Now that does mean that we did have to drop quite a bit of money on the cows, a uh, hundred thousand dollars if I remember correctly. But they're gonna give that back to us and. Not a couple days basically not even uh, at least that's my assumption so our cows there we go and uh, that should be it's gonna be around five days maybe four days still not quite five days apparently And let's, uh, I think we have maybe one or two more loads to go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Took that corner a little too sharp, apparently. There we go. Apparently my driving today. Oof. There we go, like so. Let's go check on our combine. Apparently this guy was not on manual. He was on automatic, which is not good. Which is why our tractor is just sitting there. There we go. 
Good thing we checked on them. All right, our fort's full again. So I think the idea behind getting more cows is just so we have a constant flow of money coming in because we haven't gotten back to our uh, 1.4 million, which we started. I think it was 1.46 million we started off with. So I figured let's try and get as much money as we can from the cows. And that does mean we have to buy some more cows, which is fine. We're at five days on the mixed ration, so that should keep them busy for a while. And I also need to... Let's go... Uh, let's go get some straw. Uh, we can give that to the cows, and we can also give it to the breeding station there. About the gate again. I don't know why I always drive through it. I'm so thankful that the person who created this map didn't make that collide in the world. I would have run into that so many times. Alright, let's pick up some straw from over here. Uh, I also modded this trailer to pick up so it could carry straw and grass, although I don't like picking up grass with it because it looks really funny because it didn't uh, change the texture at all. It looks like wheat. But for. Uh, or, yeah, I guess it looks like wheat, but at first, straw looks fine, basically, so. Alright. There we go. I figure, you know, if this was an actual trailer, you could put anything you wanted into it, so. That's why I just kind of modded it, so it would take straw. So I didn't have to change trailers all the time, because I figured I would be doing a lot of this kind of stuff with one trailer. Uh, and just using it for a whole bunch of different things. So let's go drop this off at the breeding station first of all. Apparently our cows can walk straight through our breeding station. There we go. So our breeding station is full of straw now, which is good. And I think that means that uh, 21 hours to our next calf. So that means it's pretty quick because I have so many cows already. I think that's the weird thing about that. If you have a lot of cows, uh, that thing seems to work a lot better than having only a few cows. I guess that makes sense if you're doing any kind of breeding with cattle anyways, but it's just kind of annoying. Just slightly annoying. There we go. Give the rest of the straw to our cows. And I have a feeling we're going to run into... Oh, is it going to be too much? Perfect. Just enough. Alright, so because we're already in the cow pasture, I'm so happy the person who made this map made a big cow pasture you can drive in. Because uh, it kind of, the nice thing about it is you can put your buildings in here like I've done. Uh, and you can also do things like uh, put placeables in here as well, which is kind of nice. So it keeps out of the way the rest of your farm. It's funny, on the newbie farm, you couldn't get into the cow pasture. Uh, I mentioned that uh, to the creator. Well, I just, in one of the Let's Play series, I, I mentioned it. Actually, let's do grass first. Um, I mentioned it to the creator, uh, I mentioned it in the Let's Play, and the creator actually changed it because he's like, all right, Ian, well, this is, I guess this, this is straight for you because uh, who the heck goes into the, uh, goes into the, drives into the cow pasture, and that was the first thing I did, basically. Uh, because I can, you can use your forge harvester in the cow pasture, which is nice. And it, uh, as you can see, that's not really a grass color, but it is recognized as grass, which is nice for us. Uh, so what we can do with that is we can fill up our trough over here for the cows. I think we have even, it looks like we have even more cows. That's crazy. I wonder how many cows it actually is. I'm not going to actually count it, but there you go. We got four days worth of grass. So what I might do off camera is I might uh, do some more haylage, I guess it would be called. Oh yeah, they're going to need a lot more. Uh, so I'm actually going to grab one more load and then I'll put that in the mixing station instead. And then the mixing station can start running again which is good for us, I suppose. Maybe in the next episode we'll sell some of our crops.
because it doesn't look like we're going to have any kind of great demand for anything other than pigs in the next little while, which is unfortunate, but it's the way it goes. We only have five pigs, so I don't think it's really worth selling them. But that is the way this great demand works in this map, I guess. I don't know. Uh, and the next thing I'm going to do is... Uh, it's 4 o'clock. It should be fine. The milk mag doesn't come for a little while yet. The cows are enjoying being inside the mixing station, apparently. There we go. Fill up that with grass, although it looks like wheat, unfortunately. Don't look in there. You can't see it. <laughs> Anyways, let's drop this off. And then let's grab some milk. do is I'm just going to drop off this trailer in here for now. Actually, no. Uh, know what we should do first? We should get some silage. Oh, almost remembered about it that time. I always think it opens up faster than it does, but it doesn't. It's funny because what uh, if you drive into the pasture, it's fine. But if you drive out of the pasture, it's not. So whatever. Alright, let's hop into our bobcat here. Drive around. So you could actually put in that movable bunker, you can actually put silage as well, so. Which is kind of nice, I suppose. Uh, I don't foresee doing it because this is like one of the very first things I did is make silage and I haven't used all of it yet, so I'm not too worried about silage at this point. There we go. Drive forward and pick up the silage, just like so. Take a quick look at our combine. It's doing well so far. Our McCormick is not quite full yet. Our Farmall, they were going to call it. I don't know why. I call it McCormick. But I guess it would be it's McCormick Farmall. I guess we would be correct thing. Let's hop back in our Ford here. And let's go drop this off in the mixing station because with if you, by making by making sure you have enough mixed rations I actually have a whole pile over there now that I think about it uh, but making sure we have enough mixed rations so basically we can make sure our cows stay productive um, which is good alright see it's fine on this side like I'm driving full speed and it's no problem it's the other direction I need to be careful though alright let's make sure we drop this off here Ooh, slow down. There we go. So that should keep that working. And then our next load of silage is going to go to the cows. Actually, let's, let's do the milk first before I forget about it. Because I know I will. Uh, let's just turn this off. He doesn't need to be on for that to work properly. There we go. Put 17 hours on this tractor, apparently, which is quite a bit. Considering, I think it's only been a, a few days. Um, not even a few days on this map. If we were on the newbie farm, it would have been a lot longer. But that's kind of a nice addition because uh, it does make it a bit different. Because, for example, I've done more harvests, I think on this map in the small amount of time I've played versus on the newbie farm, so. It was a nice, uh, nice change. It made it a little bit more realistic in terms of, whoa. Made it more, a bit more realistic in terms of the growth times and whatnot. Uh, so we might as well give our cows some water because it's just full. We paid for the water, so we wanna make sure we give them enough water. Uh, and also that means I can get milk of this too. Uh, there was another mod I picked up, but I haven't actually bought yet. Um, but it is a pretty cool looking mod. There we go. This should probably empty the whole thing because they only have two days worth of water. And I think they only use up to four days of water. Oh, that's getting awfully close. I might have... No, our pigs even have enough water. Mm, it's going to be close. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's make sure our farm all just continues. There we go. Uh, empty all of it, come on. Perfect. That was pretty close, actually. 
Alright, let's get some milk. I don't think we're gonna eat all the milk. Let's go over here. Pick up some milk. Whoops. Wrong button. There we go. So we have 11,000 liters of milk. And I think the breeding station only takes about four, so let's just take five to be sure. There we go. I guess we can always sell it in the long run, but... Alright. Oh, here, check, check this out. I'm gonna hook up the pipe here. Oh, it doesn't look right. Looks a bit weird. I think there's... How do you do it? Switch on and off. There we go. It's not actually gonna hook it up, though. Ah well, anyways, let's refill this. I think it only takes... Uh, let's, I'm not sure. Let's go walk into it. Yeah, 4,000 liters. So, our next cow will be in 21 hours. And what we can do with the rest of this milk is we can go ahead and just sell it. It's not going to give us very much money, but I probably don't need this for water before I'm going to need it for milk. I'm not a big fan of selling my own milk when it's so close. Maybe if I was able to use a, a, a semi or something like that, I might do it a bit more. But well, I suppose I could use a semi, but it kind of defeats the purpose of a small map. So let's go sell the milk, which is over there. Got lots of cows. Enjoying the cow pasture over there, which is good. So, our corn it will be the next harvest we're going to have. Actually, probably potatoes first and then corn. And what we'll probably do is we'll do a corn harvest. Or a potato. I'll probably do the potato harvest off camera. It's not very exciting anymore. It's more painful than anything else. Just because the way it works. Alright, let's drive in here. Do I have to be right in there? Yeah, it looks like I have to be a little bit closer. There we go. Got our fancy backup light here. There we go. Perfect. So our cow's running at 111%. Our breeding station is full of straw and of milk. So they're going to produce next 21 hours, apparently. So it takes, I think it takes five days per calf. Um, which is fine. Uh, so at least we have 100 cows, so that'll pr keep us on keep us producing milk. Uh, and by having the breeding station, at least it'll be a slow increase from then on, basically, which is nice instead of a crazy fast-paced going from 50 to 100 cows, I guess. All right, I think our canola harvest is almost finished. Just put this over here, right away in the corner. Perfect. I suppose I could put a placeable mod right in this field. Not really using it. All right. Just gonna stop this guy over here, and let's double check to see where the hire is going. Not too bad. Almost finished. So what I'll do is I'll finish this harvest off camera. And I'll come back at you when the corn's ready. Anyways, my name's Ian Robson. This has been Farming Simulator 2013. And we have been on the old family farm. Talk to you guys later.